Hi, I'm Billy. And I'm Eileen. And this is Family Recipe. Here we are again, episode three. People episode have been three. asking for more. They have, have they? Your sisters. Okay, yeah. yeah that's Hi. been it. Billy is making... What are you making? The oven's ready. Oh, perfect. It's perfect. It's preheated. I'm making uh, flounder. Um, I, I've been fishing my whole life. And uh, when we come back in from fishing in the summer, my father would cook up a bunch of fish. But uh, people who know me know that I um, have eliminated a lot of carbohydrates out of my diet. So this is a recipe using um, coconut flour instead of breadcrumbs or panko, whatever we used to use. So I kind of put my own spin on it. I'm going to do an orange lemon uh, butter sauce for it to kind of put on top of it. And I'm baking it. We used to fry it. So this is healthy. Look at you. And fish is great for you. It is. Definitely yeah. is. What do we got? Filet of flounder, you said? Yep. Got, uh, well, yeah, flounder. It's flounder. 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 We used to get fluke, but uh, that's in the summer. People call that summer flounder. This is winter flounder. Yeah. All right. Let's get at it. First step, we're going to get our uh, dredge ready. Not really dredge, it's our breading. This is the coconut flour. It's uh, I think a half a cup of coconut flour, a quarter cup of Parmesan cheese, and then I have a uh, quarter teaspoon of thyme in here. And then uh, another quarter teaspoon of salt. I'm going to give it a little bit of flavor. The flavor is going to come from the orange uh, lemon sauce that I made later. It clumps because it's it's not breadcrumbs. Gotcha. Like an egg. I'm trying to get the shell in there. Look at that. No shell. Whisk it. And then we start our dredge. Put the filet in that egg wash. I pre-cleaned these. We caught them earlier today. <laughs> you were on the boat? Yeah, I was on the boat. It doesn't exist anymore. Oh, that's right. It's not exist anymore. I forgot. It's nice and slippery. Good toss. Now, um, I know your dad had been Commodore over at the uh, Robins Reef Yacht Club. Robins Reef Yacht Club. You had never been a Commodore. No, I never, I've never held an office down there. Yet, I haven't yet. Too busy. Too one busy, day. Too busy cooking for you people. Yeah. Here, one day. One one day. Well, no, I was going to say one day, uh, maybe in the summer, go meet some friends down there. Go to Tiki Bar. Tiki Bar, maybe grill something. Yeah, grill something up. It's not a bad idea. You can tell some stories about uh, the I'm, history of the reef. I'm not a big storyteller. No. Nobody that knows me knows I'm not. But uh, just kind of want to dust these up. There's a lot of stories about that reef. I know. Very old place, haunted, if you believe in that. Um, supernatural stuff. I'm making a complete mess over here, but it's going to taste good. That's what counts. That's what it counts. You're supposed to keep one hand free of the egg yolk, the other hand. I didn't I didn't acknowledge that because these are... <laughs> we're in, we're, in weird territory we're just here. doing a couple of them. Should yeah. be delicious. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now these will bake up nice and crisp. And it'll absorb that um, citrus. And now you've got uh, the baking rack over your baking pan, yeah? Yes, so that any of the juices will drip down and it'll let it get crispy under and on top. Right. I mean, it's... you could put it on like parchment paper. It's just, it'd just be soaking in its own juices and it'll just be a soggy mess. Right. You want to kind of lift it. I mean, if you were frying it quick in a pan, you know. Right. But the baking. The baking is a little bit slower. Makes it crispy, makes it nice and tender. Because this is a very delicate fish. As I delicately bread it. Delicately. Get some coconut flour. And that's ready to go in the oven. I'm going to clean my hands first. All right. All right. I'm going to throw this in the oven for about uh, 14 to 15 minutes. Now I'm going to prep the sauce. I'm going to zest the lemon, zest an orange, cut up a shallot, and melt some butter. And that'll be our, that'll be our sauce. Let me get the heat on first. You want to reset the camera for the filming. This sauce gets a full stick of butter. So we're first going to melt a half a stick. 
butter. Is that the uh, Kerrygold there? That's Kerrygold. Delish. Kerrygold, uh, no salt. I like to add salt. I don't like them adding salt. You tell me what amount of salt I can have in my, uh, my food. It's my, uh, <laughs> Yeah. I'm cut up a shallot. All right. Keep, keep an eye on it. This is going to be kind of like a brown butter, oh, okay. but not yet. I want to. I want to saute this first. Saute it up. Saute it up. You made this up too. I made this up. Is that what you do now? That's what I do now. I just like, uh, I look at what's on the table, I look at what's uh, in the refrigerator, and I just uh, combine ingredients. Especially because we're still living in Corona times. We are. Do you uh, dice it up that shallot there? Dice it up. Yeah. And then I'll add this yeah. chopped up mess to uh, the butter and let it saute for a couple minutes. I'll put it on this thing because it's easier. All right. I'm going to put these shallots in the pan with the butter, and I'm going to let them saute for a couple minutes so they uh, soften up a bit. I like it. I like where your head's at. And while that's uh, give it a little... Give it a little shake? Give it a little shake. And i got to put these oranges and lemon. I'm going to zest them. And then I'm going to juice them. Yes. You want about a quarter teaspoon of lemon zest, the whole lemon juice, and about a quarter teaspoon of orange zest, and the whole orange juice. Um, it's making it up. But I did try this. Already. You still got a sticker on there. Yeah, it's okay. Don't get the sticker zested in there. We're not zesting that part of it. Slippery. But I thought these would be nice with a delicate fish like that that tastes, you know, a little different citrus in there. Yeah. Because the orange has different notes to citrus. You got a little something going on. Well, look. Shallots are looking good. Along. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. It's going to be ready for this juice soon. My hands are slippery. <laughs> and with this juice, I'm going to add the other half a stick of butter to make it one stick of butter. A lot of butter in this. That's all right. Butter is delicious. Butter is delicious, and it's a good fat. It's good. You know, it's good to have fat in your diet. And it's carry gold, so and it's carry gold. So uh, it's grass fed, grass finished cows. Yeah. So a little mix on that. I'm going to check on my. Shallots in a minute. Put this butter up. Get it ready to go in the pan. This is smelling good. Get it ready. It does smell very good. We're gonna let this brown. I forgot time. I'm going to put a little time in there. Bad news bears. Bad news bears. Walter Malcolm. Put a quarter teaspoon of dried thyme. You can put fresh thyme, but I couldn't find fresh thyme at the uh, grocery store. Limited. Yeah. All right. Moving on. The fish finished uh, its 14-minute uh, bake. And I just put the broiler on for a couple minutes. It's almost done. And then I'll be putting the sauce on top of it and plating it. About how long are you leaving it under the broiler? About two, I put two minutes, but 
probably do another, another minute. So three minutes. But check it. You don't want it to burn. You just want it to get a nice golden brown. All right. Our fish is just about done. I'm going to pour it out of the oven. I got my grill mitt because I uh, don't know where my uh, oven mitt is. <laughs> Improvise. How'd you lose that? Who knows? Maybe the dog took it. Look at that. Nice and crispy. Game of Thrones. Uh, so it comes off. I don't want to burn myself, which I just did. You're having troubles. A little trouble. Smells really great. Mm, I just burn my hand on that. You can come over here and sample this with me? Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. This looks really good. So everybody says, Should we um, toast, toast yeah, again? Toast the <laughs> Use the plates. If it's bad, don't spit it out. I'll try. I'll try not to. Hot. It's very hot. <laughs> I just gleed it. Did you see that? Mm -hmm. You know what a gleed is? It's for your salivary gland. You need something that just shoots water out. Oh, that's what that's it. called? Yeah, gleed. I think it's gleed. I don't know. This is really good. Thank you. Yeah, very hot. Right, right from here. Right up, in, head. up in the brain. Mm -hmm. It's uh, it's very light, which is good. Yeah, it's a good lunch. Yeah. Or dinner. Or breakfast. Depending on what you feel like having. Have eggs with this if you want it. If you're out on the, out on the boat. You know, if you're, if you're on the yacht. Just yachting around. Just yachting. You know. All right. White people problems. <laughs> One day, when our show takes off, mm -hmm. we'll have a yacht. And then we'll do all of our episodes from the yacht. It'll be great. This is really good. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to have another one. <laughs> Alright. Join us next time. Family recipe. Family recipe. Appreciate y'all. That's really good, though.